This documentary provides 12 years of financial details of the Dean Foods Political Action Committee that has given $2,466,000 to senators, congressmen, and lobbyist political action committees. Plus Dean Foods lobbyist expenditures totaling $10,934,436 which includes $1,395,000 from White Wave and Horizon. This documentary highlights Dean Foods and their White Wave subsidiaries' joint venture partnership and brand license with Lando Lakes, co-inventor and distributor with Monsanto of genetically engineered alfalfa. The Organic Spies have had overwhelming support for our first short documentary. Our mission is to disclose vital information to the organic movement. We appreciate the recent publicity efforts by the Organic Trade Association to demonstrate their commitment to GE labeling. The organic movement now demands results and victories from the OTA that will not be accomplished with the current board of directors. We request that every organic farmer and product company today in North America become a member of the Organic Trade Association and vote for a 100% organic board in the upcoming election. The rank and file staff of the OTA deserve better than the current list of corrupt board members. Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton spent over one year in a confrontational Democratic primary for president. They have since worked together closely as president and secretary of state. If the board and leaders of the OTA have felt too much pressure from our documentary, the organic movement needs to find stronger leaders to challenge Monsanto's iron grip on U.S. politicians and reach the organic movement's goal of labeling and banning GE foods. Our organic movement is rooted in the same peaceful methods for equal rights, as Martin Luther King Jr. and Gandhi. Americans have lost our right to know if we are eating GE foods. Our nation deserves the same rights as 30 other nations around the world that have banned or labeled GE foods. Voting and peaceful action is the only method towards a bright future for the OTA. We support any company or individual that wants to sell organic products or donate money to advance the organic movement. Just because a multinational food corporation occasionally gives more money to advance organic causes doesn't allow them to control the policy and lobbying organizations of the organic movement as they have for the past 20 years. It is now time for the small farmers, small product companies, and farm workers to have their voices heard. Dean Foods is the largest fluid milk processor in the U.S. with over $12.1 billion in annual sales. Dean controls about 40% of milk and 80% of soy milk in the U.S. and sells products under 50 local and regional brands. Dean Foods does not own the farms that they buy their dairy from. All of Dean Foods dairy suppliers combined are one of the largest purchasers of GE soy and corn for animal feed in the world. The farmers that supply their milk are the largest customers for Monsanto and Lando Lakes GE alfalfa. While Dean Foods began offering milk produced without genetically modified growth hormones in 2006, the company pledged to remain a supplier of a diverse range of RBST and RBST-free products. Scientific studies indicate that RBST is linked to infertility, birth defects, cancer, and immune disease in humans. 93% of soybeans are GE, and 80% of soybeans and 50% of corn is used for animal feed. Except for Horizon and Organic Cow, the other 50 brands of Dean Foods feed cows a diet that consists of close to 100% GE soy and corn their entire lives. In January 2010, the U.S. Justice Department filed an antitrust lawsuit against Dean Foods seeking to restore lost competition in the sale of milk to school districts and retailers in Illinois, Michigan, and Wisconsin. Between 1996 and 2009, Dean Foods acquired more than 100 competitors without any outcry from Washington. In 2010, PETA confronted Dean Foods shareholders with images of tormented cows. PETA targeted Dean Foods to demand an end to the practice of cutting off cows' tails without painkillers, ending cruel tail docking, filthy conditions, and other forms of animal abuse. Most, if not all, of Dean Foods' milk is sourced from factory farm operations with thousands of cows. In the U.S., livestock currently generates 130 times more sewage than humans, 500 million tons of solid and liquid wastes, according to a 2003 EPA estimate. Dean Foods bought White Wave Silk in 2002 and Horizon and Organic Cow in 2004. 
White Wave is the natural and organic division of Dean Foods. Page 32 of Dean Foods' annual report shows 2010 sales for Fresh Dairy Direct Morningstar, $10 billion, $180 million, and White Wave Alpro at $1 billion, $938 million in sales. The White Wave division has four U.S. brands, Silk, Horizon, Land Lakes, and International Delight. These are the four brands that OTA board member Kelly Shea represents at White Wave Foods as their Vice President of Industry Relations and Organic Stewardship. On the FAQ section of White Wave's website, they ask, What is White Wave Foods' position on genetic engineering? We believe that labeling foods with genetically altered ingredients is not a safety issue, but rather an initiative to help consumers make informed choices. We went to the sourcing section of White Wave's website and found, we're also looking at ways to improve sourcing for our International Delight and Land O'Lakes creamers. Because White Wave's brands Land O'Lakes and International Delight are not organic, the cow's diet consists of close to 100% GE soy and corn their entire lives. White Wave believes consumers should be informed but have followed the same Dean Foods corporate policy of not labeling dairy from animals that eat GE soy and corn. International Delight is a brand that creates products from chemical processes and has branding partnerships with chemical agricultural candy companies, Hershey's and Almond Joy. Silk was the leading organic soy milk brand that first went from soy milk made from American organic soybeans to soy milk made with Chinese organic soybeans to eliminating all but three organic soybean products and relaunching their soy milk as natural. Whole Foods had so many customer complaints about Silk switching to non-organic soy that they've stopped selling most of Silk's products. Instead, they are going with the organic soy brand Earth Balance. Merle Kramer, a marketer for the Midwestern Organic Farmers Cooperative in 2010, stated, White Wave had the opportunity to push organic and sustainable agriculture to incredible heights of production by working with North American farmers and traders to get more land in organic production. But what they did was pit cheap foreign soybeans against the U.S. organic farmer, taking away any attraction for conventional farmers to make the move into sustainable agriculture. Horizon has also been plagued by controversy and quality control problems. Michael Pollan's New York Times article validates this. This dairyman also bent my ear about Horizon's factory farms out west, where thousands of cows that never encounter a blade of grass spend their days confined to a fenced dry lot, eating certified organic grain and tethered to milking machines three times a day. So maybe organic cow milk isn't quite as legible a product as I thought. I wasn't sure if the farmer had his facts straight. It would turn out he did. As much as half of the milk from Horizon comes from giant factory farms with 1,000 to 4,000 milking cows. These farms actually have 2,000 to 8,000 cows. Horizon also uses a synthetic DHA hexane extracted additive created by a public biotech company called Martech. Martech lobbied to allow the synthetic DHA additive into USDA certified organic products despite the opposition and illegality. On April 11, 2011, the USDA issued a statement that White Wave posted on their website. USDA formally determines Horizon Organic products with DHA are fully compliant. Despite the allowance of a hexane extracted additive into a certified organic product, because it consists of less than 5% of the total product, Horizon on its product label does not disclose that the DHA is synthetic and not organic, or the potential side effects especially for infants and children that have reported health problems. In 2009, a Washington Post article, Purity of Federal Organic Label is Questioned, by Kimberly Kindy and Lindsay Layton, summarize why synthetic additives are allowed in certified organic products. From the beginning, farmers and consumer advocates were concerned about safeguarding the organic label. In 2003, Arthur Harvey, who grows organic blueberries in Maine, successfully sued the USDA arguing that the fledgling National Organic Program had violated federal law by allowing synthetic additives. The big boys like Kraft realized they could really cash in by filling the shelves with products with the organic seal, Harvey said. But they were sort of inhibited by the original law that said no synthetic ingredients. His victory was short-lived. The Organic Trade Association, which represents corporations such as Kraft, Dole, and Dean Foods, lobbied for and received language in a 2006 appropriations bill allowing certain synthetic food substances in the preparation, processing, and packaging of organic foods, 
creating conditions for a flood of processed organic foods. Out of White Wave's $1,938,000,000 dollars in 2010 sales, only $465 million is from organic milk, plus the few organic soy products. After discovering the controversial organic record at White Wave Foods, the organic spies went through the biographies of every White Wave executive. We discovered the organic integrity problem started at the top of White Wave. All of the executives of White Wave, except for Kelly Shea, have spent their entire careers at companies that sell toxic chemical agriculture products, including GE Foods. Only two executives have ever worked for a company that has sold a few organic products. Kelly joined Horizon Organic in 1999 and became Director of Organic Agriculture in 2001. Kelly's biography states that she is directing the organization's policies, programs, and initiatives related to organic, regulatory, and legislative issues. In her later role as Director of Government and Industry Relations, and in her current position, Shea builds communication lines and relationships with state and federal government, the administration, and other public policy officials. Kelly Shea's bio includes building relationships with government officials. This should exclude her from sitting on the board of the OTA. The interests of White Wave and Dean Foods are often opposing to the organic movement regarding organic standards. The approval of Martex synthetic hexane extracted DHA and certified organic products like Horizon Milk continues to receive opposition by the organic movement, as does Horizon's controversial factory farm Organic Dairy. If Kelly Shea was a successful organic advocate, she would have stopped the organic exodus from Silk and saved an enormous amount of money for struggling U.S. organic soy farmers. Silk had $445 million in sales in 2010. A majority of this is now non-organic. Kelly Shea has a major conflict of interest as a board member of the OTA in advocating a federal law to label GE foods and dairy products that use GE animal feed. We congratulate Kelly Shea for enrolling Silk in the non-GMO project verification program. If Land O'Lakes and International Delight, White Wave's two other brands, did not use GE animal feed, Kelly Shea would have enrolled them in the non-GMO project verification program. Land O'Lakes and International Delight Dairy use GE animal feed in addition to all of the 50 other brands of the Dean Foods corporate empire. The new study was carried out by independent doctors at the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology at the University of Sherbrooke Hospital Center in Quebec, Canada. Traces of Bt toxin were found in the blood of 93% of the pregnant mothers, 28 out of 30. It was also found in 80% of the umbilical cords, 24 out of 30. In the non-pregnant group, traces were found in the blood of 69%, 27 out of 39. It is thought the toxin is getting into the human body as a result of eating meat, milk, and eggs from farm livestock fed GM corn.